So today we're going to have a look at the lupins. These are now forming a seed. So we need to remove them and hopefully maybe we might get some new growth. So let me show you what we're going to do. The lupins are a perennial and will return year after year. These plants were planted last year in 2020, produced two small flowers and they had this lovely display. So let me show you what the lupins looked a couple of weeks ago during our June tour. Take a look. These lupins are mad. Look at them. They're really, really nice. The lupins normally flower towards the end of May and gives a good display for June. Well, as you can see on this plant, the main stems have gone and there's tiny flowers appearing underneath. So if we remove some of these big ones, then the plant can give more energy to the smaller ones. And as you can see, it's a smaller one there. So let's get these removed. So what we do, we take our spike, follow down the stem until it meets a leaf. And then we take our knife and we just give it a chop. And that's the looping seeds. But if you want to keep the seeds, you can keep it on and the seeds will dry and then you'll be able to plant the seeds for next year. So we might just leave one on, might just leave this one on and we should go now through the rest and we should cut the old stalks off and hopefully we will get some smaller flowers just follow the stem down and cut them off. We should just do this throughout the whole plant. And chop. So there we have it. We're going to leave this one on so it can go to seed. So there's already new flowers appearing. Well, I'll show you. This one was a fairly new stalk. And if we look underneath, we can see two new flowers, two new buds. So removing this, the plant can send its energy to the new flowers.
So here is our lupins, all trimmed. And we look forward to seeing some more flowers appear. Now we can give these a drink and you can even use tomato food and even a mulch around the bottom will benefit it. So I've left on two spikes, one and the second one there too and I'll grow them on for seeds so we can grow more lupins here next year. But as you can see we're already getting some new flowers. So this is the stalks that we removed and you can really see that they're related to the pea family. Anyway, good job done. We look forward to some nice lupins next year. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if not subscribe and get notifications when I post some more videos. So thank you very much. Cheers.